What's up, guys? This is Bad Decisions. This is Sherm. This is Jay. Right now, we're going to get into another balloon pop episode. This is pretty much the catch up episode. So, what happens is after they go on the balloon pop, they match. Arlette does a little follow up and they just see how the, their dates went. So, let's get into it. So, we had you both on episode 19 of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, where you guys ended up matching. Okay, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and is it a yes for you for her? Absolutely. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this. Y'all going off. Yes. <laughs> okay, so obviously, you know, on the show, we got to know you guys. Just in case any of you guys have never seen one for catch ups before, you can always kind of tell how good the follow up went by how close the couples are normally are to each other so like if normally like a catch-up went good or they had a good date normally like the couples are seated together and arlette is like off on the other side but when there's like some like iffiness or something happened it's like they're both separated far from each other like if you look they're both on like polar opposites no it's a good observation not to mention when arlette said something in the beginning about how they matched the girl was like, like they looked her up and rolled her eyes. You you caught that? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, so I already knew from jump it was. But let's see. All right, guys, leave a comment in the chat. Let us know who you think messed up in this. Do you think it was the guy that messed up, or do you think it was the girl that messed up in this? A little bit. You told us, you know, just a few things here or there. But we would like to get to know you guys just a little bit more before we dive into, you know, the juicy topic at hand. So let's start with you, Briante. Tell us more. <laughs> Um, more about the relationship or oh, just, about yourself, just myself. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know, as you know, I'm a mom. I do my music. Mm -hmm. Um, that's pretty much what I've just been on is focused on that. And, you know, I currently do reside in LA, mm -hmm. but I will be residing in Phoenix Ooh. soon. Okay. So yeah, that, that's kind of like in the work and the process right now. So Got it. yeah. Nice. <laughs> so are you from LA? No, I'm from Arizona. Oh, so you're from Arizona, yeah. then you went to LA, yeah. and then you're like, I'm back coming back. Here, yes. Family's here, <laughs> you know. You know, I got a kid, so he wants to be cousins. Family. family. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. And then how old are you again? Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, in Arizona so far. Good. Yeah, it's been cool. Okay. So we saw on the show, um, you had asked a question that, you know, kind of stirred the pot a little bit. Yeah. Got a lot of pops on you. You asked the, lady, the ladies, why are you single? So why do you think so many people popped on you when you asked that question? Um, I think it's just one of those questions that people kind of assume like malicious intent. Okay. As opposed to kind of just doing introspective work and kind of seeing uh, where they may have gone wrong in their previous relationship. She's not going to show a flashback on this video, guys. But pretty much what happened is that he asked the ladies what went wrong in your previous relationship. And then, like, like, they all popped the balloon. They did not want to answer that question. And I think what he had is a valid question. I think only if you have something hot to hide, you're going to take it the wrong way. Because if you're on the show and you're actually looking for a partner, you're actually looking for love, it's important to know why their last relationship failed. To know whether or not they're trying to make the right steps to improving themselves. Like, that wasn't a bad question at all. It's just... Yeah. I mean, you could just tell people's intentions. You could tell that, like, a lot of people when they're just not to find love, they went to start up their social media career and whatever. Relationships. Mm -hmm. uh, it also may not, you know, be about anything you necessarily did wrong. It could be, like, situations and circumstances right, that kind exactly. of led to that. Um, and so I think the, I thought the question uh, left room for that. I wonder what he did wrong. Look at her face. Yeah, she was looking, she is not happy at all. She's mad. Like, that's, that's like, a legit, like, yeah. I do not F with this person at all. Yeah. And the fact that he's so calm mm -hmm. makes me believe that he might have done some effery. Man, they're both calm. She's chill. She's chill, but she's making faces. That's they're facts. changing. Yeah. And he's just kind of like swift. Like he's just smooth. Yeah. Sort, of type. sort of type of answer, but it seemed like it was kind of received negatively. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you answered it just fine. You didn't see any problem with it, I'm guessing? No, I mean, that's kind of like a valid question just because it's any 
question. Like, right. I don't see why you'd feel some type of way about Especially it. Especially since we're on a dating show. Yeah. We're assuming everyone's single, so it's like, okay. Talking about a relationship. Exactly. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. And I think you kind of did explain a little bit your reason behind asking that question on the show as well, right? Yeah, I think um, after, um, I think, one person's response, uh, I kind of just responded and said I was just kind of looking for any sort of growth or uh, anything that you may have learned from mm. previous experience. So I think I clarified it a little bit, but damage was already done at that point. So. <laughs> okay, no problem. Well, let's go ahead and dive right into my favorite question. Since you guys ended up matching on the show, have look, you she guys can't wait. Look, look, look at her face. Yeah, look at her ready. face. She can't wait. Look She's his, ready. Look at, <laughs> look at her face. She's like, oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, damn. Yeah, he, yeah, he must have did some effort. Look at, look at her. Yeah, this, this <laughs> shot right here is like a thumbnail shot. Like, look at that too. She's like, oh, it's about to be good. Look at him. This might actually be our thumbnail. It, shot. Needs, to be. it needs to be. Do you want to tell him, Jeremy? Or mm. do you want to tell him, Jeremy? Or uh, go, or, for it. go for it. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> So I'm going to say, so after we left mm -hmm. the show, um, I offered him if he wanted to come and join me. At the time, I was already having a barbecue okay, um, with my family. And this was back this, in L.A.? Yeah. No, okay. here. Oh, in Arizona. Yeah, okay. My family's here. So oh, I right. rented a big Airbnb. Uh -huh. I threw my niece a birthday party, and that's kind of what I was rushing to get back to a little bit. Got it. Okay. And, um, you know, I offered for him to come, but I did give the option, like, if you don't want to come, you don't have to. Yeah. But that's where I'm going mm -hmm. right now. So if you want to come, it's barbecue, you know, we're there, we're partying, we're drinking, we're having fun. Right. Um, I'm very family-oriented, so I'm very friends. Like, if you're around me, you're going to be around the people that I love. Mm, yeah. And if you have an issue with that, it's kind of like, no. No. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, you don't need to be with me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, what, what, so, what do you think about this? Well, what do you too think soon, about this? Too soon. Too soon. I was, you don't meet someone's family day one, hour one? No. No. Here's the thing. I was literally just about to say that. I think her intentions were good. I think that's a cool thing to do. Like, I get it. Because that... Because to me, if she if she's doing that, first of all, that's letting you know that she she's thinking about you seriously. Yeah. Because no one's going to bring someone that they don't plan on having a long time around their family. You would think. I hope if you have common sense, right? But obviously she doesn't know this guy that well, so she probably does it all the time. But I... No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying that... Your like, logic is... Yeah, I, I agree that, with that logic, like yeah. she's probably trying to take him serious, and so she's she wants to get... I guess she's trying to do the hard part first, which is meeting the family. Listen, I don't recommend it because I think that's way too soon. Susan. I would personally turn that down just because I feel like that would just be a little bit too awkward because I don't know you yet. So it's pretty much like you going in as a stranger and then getting grilled by her entire family. I'm not saying that's what happened there, but just as a guy, that's what I imagine because they're about to start asking you like a whole bunch of serious questions. I was questions. just about to say, what even what, like, how'd you guys meet? We just met like on a dating show. How long have you known each other? About four hours. Like... <laughs> What kind of like it's weird? Oh, it's too much for me. Yes, it's it's awkward. Like I said, I do think it was a is a kind gesture. I yeah. think it was cool. Like she was trying to you yeah. know throw it out there. Yeah. Um, but I just think it's just too much. Like I don't see that situation going well in any circumstance. Like either. it just doesn't seem like it would produce anything positive. I'm not coming to fly to see me. <laughs> okay, so what yeah. went wrong? Was there just like oh. <laughs> Would you like to tell him what went wrong, Jeremy? Huh? I, I Actually, though, let's hear from Jeremy. Yeah, she went first let with the let story. Him say let's what hear from went you wrong. Um, uh, I think there were um, kind of a few things that happened from my perspective. He about to say okay. some BS. Um, he about to say some BS. He about to say some BS. He he lined it up. Come on, man. What'd you do? Just just look at his, just look at his face. He's like, there are some things from my... Listen, I'll give him that. He's a good talker. He's very chill. But he he about to say some BS. Um, that just kind of maybe gave me the wrong impression mm. or kind of set up the wrong kind of idea. Um, and so ultimately, uh, we came to... There was a... Uh, there was a situation in which I was going out of town. Okay. Uh, I was going on a vacation. Uh, previously planned vacation, actually before Prior to we you met, coming on prior the show. Prior to me coming on the show. Okay. Uh, and she inquired who I was going with. And I told her, uh, and it's a friend, and, and actually an ex of, uh, we're still friends, friend of mine. She's you said ex, it's an ex? Ex and a friend, yeah. Yeah. Mm, exactly. He's wrong for that. He's wrong for that. Come on, man. That's, that, that's some BS. You go on a dating show, 
because you're trying to find someone else, you're trying to date someone, and then you go on a vacation with your ex, and then you expect the person that you want to potentially be dating. All right, look, I tend to play devil's advocate a lot of times, but in this situation, first and foremost, I would not like that at all. I know we don't know each other. We're brand new. We're not dating. We're no title or relationship, nothing. Still wrong. I agree with you. They went on a show for dating, and he's out here with his ex. That's number one. Number two, I don't know if he should be friends with his ex and going on vacation. I mean, they probably stay in the same room. He's probably hitting. Let's be honest. They're, they're, he's still clapping it Whoa, up. Oh, of course. I mean, even I know that. I'm just saying. I was trying to see it from the perspective of they're brand new, so she shouldn't care. But no, because the objective is to get to know her. and Exa- yeah, Exactly. So, like I said, if... Yeah. Nah. If he didn't come on a show that was like, hey, I'm looking for somebody, yeah. and let's say he had just met her at the mall or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, it was yeah. something random, you didn't establish what you were trying to do, right. then I could kind of see, it's still kind of messed up thing yeah. to do, yeah. but I'd be like, all right, whatever, but you went on a show looking for love, and then you come out and do this, like, bro, you're doing some effort, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't side with him on this one. Bro, okay, let me tell you, we were on the phone, uh-huh. we're talking, getting to know each other, you know, I'm... He said he's going to go to Puerto Rico mm-hmm. for his birthday. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fun. Like, who are you going with? Right. Like, he said, um, he, he skipped the question. First, he skipped the question. And then I was like, <laughs> I did, absolutely. Did. Oh, <laughs> OK. But then I asked again, like, wait, wait, who are you going with? And uh-huh. he said, my ex. And I was like, I think my phone's dying. So after that, I never talked to him again. Oh. I hung up. I we never talked until... The only way we talked again, because he, I think he called me a few times after that. I did not answer. There was no reason. There was no reason for us to talk. There's no reason. So you didn't tell him why you're no. There- you do. What are you doing in that in that situation? If I was who, her or him? No, I mean, if I was a man and a woman said that they're going like they're, they're going on vacation with their ex boyfriend. Yes. First of all, I'm not going to hang up and just not talk to him. I'm going to say, that's silly. I, I probably... Okay, listen. I can be a little emotional sometimes. I, I admit it. It's fine. I'd be annoyed, and I would tell her I was annoyed about it, and that it was stupid, and that I would say exactly what we just said. You came on a dating show to find love. We're supposed to be getting to know each other, and you mean to tell me you're hanging out with your ex-boyfriend, going on vacation with him? I know you... You know, no, nah, no. Nah. That don't fly with me. That's silly. You're not the type of girl I thought you'd be. I don't want anything to do with it. We're cool. I don't need to talk to you anymore. And that'd be it. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm moving like at that point. I'm just hanging up and not yeah, saying that. Yeah, I'm, we're I'm different in that way. Nothing. Yeah, I'm yeah. just like I'm like I'm good because at that point it's like what's the point? You do, not not only is it what's the point, but it's just the fact that like you just weren't taking me serious as an option anyway. That's not necessarily true. Some people <sighs> okay. Because how much if someone says, "Hey Jay, I'm trying to date you seriously. I want to get to know you," and then the next following week. Hey, I'm going on vacation with their ex. Like, what are you going to think? They don't take you seriously. See, here's the thing. I agree with you from my perspective, from your perspective. But there are people out here that have different perspectives. For example, and this might be a bad analogy, but just rock with me. Like, there are some couples who are okay with having open relationships. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I can never do something like that. But there are some people who, I don't want to call it are mature enough, because I don't think that's the word to use. Yeah, mature has nothing to do with that. Yeah, they're they're just open enough. Yeah, they're just fluid, I guess. Okay, fine, they're fluid, right? So then in that situation, if that's that type of person, maybe in their mind they're going, okay, since we're so new, I can still do this until I get to know this person and we become a thing. Whereas me or you are like, no, if you say you're going to date somebody, we need to focus on each other right now. So what I'm saying is I can see a perspective from someone who doesn't think like I think. But that's not how I think. I'm not rocking with that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's... And, and I think the part that made it worse, that made it seem more disingenuous, is just the fact that he kind of tried to, like, hide around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. part to me that I'm like, okay, I know you're not really trying to take me... Like, you, you're, you're trying to play me for a fool now. Because if you really thought it wasn't a problem, immediately when you, when you match with her, hey, I don't want you to get any strange signals. I had a previously planned trip with my ex... We're not going to be in the same room. We're not going to be doing anything crazy. There might be another friend involved or whatever. I just want to let you know I'm not trying to... I, I, I'm i not on the funny stuff. Yeah, that's a better way to handle it. Still wouldn't but, rock with me. But, but. I mean, I'm not... Listen, I'm would. Yeah. i I'm good regardless. I'm, I'm good off of that. But yeah. I'm just saying, like, if he was really trying to be genuine, yeah, yeah, he wasn't trying to hide anything... I get you. You know, that's how he would go about it. But, I mean, he didn't. He tried to, like... Dodge him, yeah. yeah. There's no reason to, to talk. <laughs> Okay, I have receipts, but it's okay. I, it's okay. Okay. And, you know, it was, you're going, what do you want me to do? Tell you, like, 
how was the vacation with your ex? Like, did you guys chill on the Whoa. beach or something? Like, did you want me to wait for when you got back? Mm. And then it's like, you know, there was no talking afterwards. Okay. Well, there was nothing for us to talk about. And we didn't recently talk again until I found out that, you know, people were sending me things and they were sending me things like, oh, he went on a, a different podcast. He talked about you. He was talked a lot of mess about you. He said things, uh, talked about your family, talked about this and how it wasn't. And I was like, wait, wait, what? He's kind of capped because that didn't happen. So a lot of things like he said that didn't happen. And I was like, all right. That's fine. Like, he went and talked about me cool. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I really don't care at the moment because, obviously, from the jump, it showed me that who he was, what he was doing. He wasn't looking for anything. It was just a good time. So it was just, that's fine with me. And I was okay. You're going with your eggs. We didn't start anything new. You know, it's just keep it pushing, you know? Okay. Um, so I didn't bad mouth her. Um, or say anything bad about her or her family. Okay. Um, there was a situation, you know, that we were in that I did speak on uh, on another platform, mm -hmm. um, but it wasn't, I didn't say it in a negative way. What I will say, though, is some of the things that were said um, and some of what I observed and seen uh, kind of led me to, kind of believe that it wasn't as serious as like okay such as what um i mean there was it was just i mean there was some transparency some things she told me in confidence that i like would rather not share no problem. um but i will say um that there were some things that she told me that she was processing through mm -hmm. that kind of just you know put it in a different perspective for me as far as the seriousness of like what was happening. Okay, um, so you think she wasn't as serious about getting to know you? Well, or? I mean, I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I just didn't think we were in a space to where I would cancel a trip with an ex or a friend because I met you. Um, I just didn't think uh, we were in a space where that would even be a reasonable act. Like you're saying that, for what he does want to say, saying that I'm still in love with my ex. No, I told them I always have love for my ex. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, my ex fiance, whatever. You know, that was, I always have love, but I'm not in love. If okay. I was in love with that person, I would go be there fighting for that person and be mm -hmm. with that person. But no, I told them, like, I'm single. I'm here. Like, I didn't give you no, like, I'm with this, I'm with that. I told you what I do. I do my music. I, you know, I take care of my kids. I get what she's saying, but that's still a dumb thing to say to someone that you just started dating. Well, it sounds like they were having that type of conversation. I mean, they're probably lit when they said it, but I'm like, I don't know. Like, I just would never, go ahead. I just would never tell someone that, like, the first time I'm hanging out with them, like, hey, um, I was with my ex for ten years. I don't love them, but I always will have love for them. It's like that's something you kind of already know. You don't really have to say. I hear your point. I don't think she volunteered that information. The mouse did. No. I by myself. He's not moving around. I don't, I don't think she volunteered the information. I think that they were having a conversation and he probably asked, so what's, you know, he probably asked about her past. Gotcha. And her dating. Okay. And she's like, oh, you know, I was engaged because she said fiance. Oof. And then it went from there. Yeah. And maybe he took it the certain way and he's like, you know what? All right. Maybe he took it, oh, I'll have love for him. Like, oh, he, she still wants him. And then she's like, he's like, oh, I'm not canceling my trip. I'm about to get me some... You know, <laughs> I take care of my own responsibilities. I'm independent. And then all I need is somebody there with me to make me happy and have fun. I never once given him that, you know, sign that I'm still talking to him on this. Like never once. Cause we didn't even get that far mm. now for him to be like, he doesn't owe me anything. Mm -hmm. It's kind of messed up because it's like, you, I, I'm not expecting you to owe me anything. Mm. Like, you should be a gentleman like you came to me and you're looking for this. I'm looking for the same thing. So why do I have to accept that you're about to go have a time in Puerto Rico with somebody else? And I'm here still mm -hmm. looking for love, but got to be OK that you're there having a great time with somebody that's your past. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to be focused on you, but you're that's what you're offering me to accept. And so this trip was how soon after the show like literally right after oh, right uh, after so, uh, the show was 
um, beginning of August, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, my birthday is at the end of August. Okay. So, after. but but again, vacations are previously planned. I plan the day of, right? So, so you weren't done. Um, you weren't done with your past, and that's okay. Don't be done with your past. I mean, I think that. that's a very kind of dogmatic. No, I mean, listen, I, I, I agree with her. Yeah, I agree, I, yeah. I agree yeah. with her. I think I think in this situation, she's right. She seems genuine. She, she seems does. like she actually cared. Like, she actually wanted to get to know him. Yeah. And it just seems like he was just kind of on some other stuff. Like, I'm not saying that he didn't want to get to know her. He just didn't take her serious, pretty much. Yeah. Big way of looking at it, and that's okay if that's your worldview. Um, but it's not mine. So you don't have to fall out to walk out. Um, and because somebody's your ex doesn't mean that they still aren't your friend. And so what that means to you can be different. Um, and I think that's unique between people and their relationship. Bro, I, 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 bro, you're a great talker, but that's some BS. Let's be real. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's some BS. I, if a woman said that, I'd be like, come on, dog. That's done. She said yeah, that. I'd be like, bro, you cook. Like, you, he's wrong for that. Come on. Man. Wrong. Like, you can't try to, like, gaslight her and be like, oh, well, mm. you know. It might mean this way to you, but on, on this side of the cauliflower, it means that, like, nah, bro, you you wrong. So did you guys stay in the same room? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now, Jeremy, if the okay. roles were switched, like, for example, let's say her and her ex went on a vacation after you guys met, you would have been totally okay with that, still getting to know her after that trip? Or? Well, I think if it was a previous planned vacation, I wouldn't have. Bro, like, stop, stop lying. lying. <laughs> Bro, you're capping, man. You're capping. And I hate, as, as a guy, it sucks to have to call another guy, but I, hey, I'm just being honest. Call the truth out is what it is. I'm just being honest, bro. Like, you, he's wrong. He is. And he's trying to make up, oh, well, you know, I wouldn't. Bro, you would care. Of course he would care. You we would care. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't have told her to cancel it yet. Like, I don't, I don't know that I would have had a problem with that. Like, I met I mean, like, since we're here, like, I met, like, her child's father, like, at the barbecue the day of, like. So that I, I haven't been together in. with for eight years, seven okay. years. Okay. Um, so, so, seven years. Whatever type of way, though, when we was at the barbecue, mm -hmm. uh, he ended up feeling some type of way, though, which is. That wasn't because of you. That was because my child at the time, not to get too deep into it, but my child at the time. See, this is why you don't invite people you just met to a barbecue full of people that like so i gotta hurt you off the mouse come on man. huh keeps on moving the mouse okay that's why you don't invite someone you barely met to a, a barbecue full of people that you already know like come on man it's messy right it's it's super messy, <laughs> it's, messy. it's like he met her ex and that's probably why he feels the, the way he does he met her uh, ex yeah. her ex was probably in the feelings because she brought the new dude around him and then now he's got a Watch his baby mama get get rizzed on by some random dude. Like it's just awkward. Why would yeah, you do that? It's bad awkward. Yeah, it wasn't a good call on her on her part. That was a terrible call. And then you know, this is not all women, but some women do do that. Like bring dudes around their ex to try to make them jealous and like, ooh, look look what I got now. And he's you know like. Nah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's just it's, it's messy. I I think she did have good intentions as you mentioned before, yeah. but it wasn't well thought out. She just wasn't thinking at all. Yeah. I'm didn't understand how birthdays work. Mm -hmm. And he was a little upset that somebody else is getting a lot of attention. Mm. So, you know, I parented mm -hmm. and my son's dad, we're not together, but he's not really in his life like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So it was a parenting thing, the why he got upset. Okay. It's because, you know, I took full mom mode, he was trying and I excluded that out. Mm -hmm. So it was a parenting thing of why he left. It had nothing to do with him and I, I just feel why you feel like you're that to take that like I don't understand so, why you think it was for um, you so if and I don't that's not what I was alluding to no. um, if you're placed in those situations um, like out of the gate for whatever reason um, that just means that there's unresolved tension if from my estimation and my observation between you and your baby's father. No, I have always not liked him. It's just always been like that. I don't like him. He knows I don't like him. Everybody knows I don't like him, but we tolerate each other because he's been in my life for so long mm -hmm. that my family invites him everywhere, but they don't look at him as in, oh, that's Breeze. Like, that's your man. They would be like, you know, we will even say like, bring a girl. 
bring mm-hmm. somebody like you would love to meet somebody that you have like we even tell him did so, y'all like go out or something like that where you tried to like introduce him to a girl or something like yeah we like, try to introduce him we go out like we go out to like groups and before i would have somebody with me you know i'll get my friends to try to get him to somebody like sometimes he's into it sometimes he's not but that's him i don't know his life we're not into that like he's around sometimes mm-hmm. so but you the would fact say that he's not that a factor it, but you would say that it's quite possible even though you guys are exes and have a child together to be friends and that to be that is that possible i mean it's after like i don't think of him like that it's after seven years okay so, so my whole point so he's is, not a friend to you <laughs> so my whole point no is, my whole point is it's possible to be a friend to someone after you've been in a relationship with how long was your my... ex was though how long okay so ultimately man uh i'm gonna say he made a bad decision he's definitely wrong for that um she actually had genuine interest he did not he's just on some other time what do you think so this very end piece where he's trying to like catch her and like he's trying to make her admit that people can still be friends after they break up and he's comparing apples to oranges because she got pregnant by or she was with a guy she and the guy that is the father of her child were together when they were 17 and they're not friends they just have to co-parent that's different than what he's doing going on vacation with an ex yeah so he's trying to make that comparison i think he's wrong for that i think he's done a lot of like you said he can talk smooth but he's he's with he's he's in the wrong on this one i think yeah he's in the wrong um one thing i do have to say though i do think he is right about is that he pretty much peeped that they don't really have that great of a co-parenting relationship and he doesn't want to be a part of that. Yeah. So he's just kind of like, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a back away. Which, listen, I don't blame him. I don't want to step in any situation where there's too much drama in it, especially if it's drama that I did not create. Yeah. So. Yeah. He's not wrong for that. Yeah, for sure. All right, decision makers, let us know who you think made a good decision in the situation.